Here we go to Ikra to continue with our integration that involve trigonometric terms and in this particular session we will study integration of tan to power mx and sec to power nx. Sir, here m and n again as we have done before is like integers and rational numbers. No. In this particular case, 10 to power mx and sec to power nx, here m and n are only positive integers. We will see here in the standard form, we have only positive integers. Okay, so let's move. 10 to power mx and sec to power nx, where m and n are positive integers. So we we'll start here, and here there is a particular technique, and I show you that whenever you have 10 to power something and sec to power something, the first step that you have to do is that you have to hide 10. Don't look at 10 and look only at, at the sec to power nx. So what I will do, I will hide the 10 part and just look at the sec part. And I will see the integral power. If the integral power is even, then this is the best thing that I can do. Because if sec to po sec the power of sec x is even, then I don't have to worry anything about 10. And there is only one substitution for this. And the substitution is that put 10 of x as a t, so that sec square x dx becomes dt. So because my power is even, so I will put 10 of x as a t and sec square x dx becomes dt. So this sec to power 4x, I will put this as sec square x, x square x because I need this x square x dx dt. I don't worry about this because this will come to 10 and I don't even have to look anything about 10 to power. m can be anything. I don't worry about the power m because I have put 10x as t so this whole thing becomes t to power m. So this is the good thing and the integration becomes t to power m and sec square x becomes 1 plus 10 square x so 1 plus t to power x, 1 plus t square and sec square x this becomes dt. So this is a polynomial in, t, in t and the integration is very easy. So here, so the good thing to see that if the sec to power is even then this is the best thing that can happen. This is the easiest way. Now let's move further. Now again I will see the, I have another one and what I will do I will hide the 10 part and look only at the sec part. So I hide this but here the power of sec is not even it is odd. So I have to look at the 10 part now. Earlier when sec to power was even I did not have to look at the 10 part but here I had to look because the power is odd. Now if the power of 10 is also odd, both are odd, then this is also a, a good sign, it is not a bad sign, it is still also a good sign because I have a very good substitution for this also. Because both the powers are odd, I can take sec and 10 common out. So I can take 1 sec and 1 10 common from both. So I will have even part here and the substitution for this is put sec of x as a t so, so that this whole thing becomes dt and I can convert this in t because my sec is t so this whole thing becomes t and also this thing can be converted into sec x because this is even so this is a good thing so what happened again it becomes a polynomial in t because it was a very good substitution so in this case also I will first hide this 10 part and look only at the sec and if this is odd then I had to look at 10 and if this is also odd, okay, then this is also not a big problem. It is like it can be solved easily. So I put this also in the category of easy. Now move next. Now I have this thing. Again what I will do, I will hide the 10 part and look only at the sec part. Now sec, if the sec was even, this was the best thing that could happen. But it is not even, so it is odd. So if this is odd, I have to look at the 10 part. And if I look at the 10, if it were odd also, then also it was not a problem. But again, but here it is not odd, it is even. So here the problem is that this is odd and this is even. So I put this in category of tough, that is not easy. Here the integration is not direct. So I have to use a technique. 
So, and the, what is the method for this? Is that convert everything into sec x. Make everything as sec x. So I will convert this 10 square x as sec square x is equal to sec square x minus 1 and I have sec cube x. So everything gets converted into sec x. So I have sec to power 5x and sec to power cube x. Now this thing is the most difficult thing that can happen. Sec to power odd x, integration of sec to power odd x is the most difficult thing that can happen. And probably this thing has a lot of calculations and I will show you separately. Integration of sec to power odd I will show you separately. So let's move further and we will see the integral powers of only 10 and only sec separately. So here I have uh, I categorize into four parts. This is my first sec to power even, then 10 to power even, sec to power odd and 10 to power odd. So whenever I have only sec or 10 then what should I do? Okay. So see here, these three, these three are the easiest thing that can happen. Sec to power even, 10 to power even, 10 to power odd. And sec to power odd, it is the difficult thing. Because before also I left here in the previous slide, I left here at sec to power q5 and sec to power 3. Okay, because they were the most difficult thing. So we continue and we do separately. And I will start with sec to power even and see what are the different techniques for when I have only sec or 10. Now I will start with sec to power even. So sec to power even I know that it is very easy because it will always even so I can put 10 of x is equal to t so that sec square is equal to dx becomes dt. I can split into two parts and I put 10 of x is t so that sec square x dx becomes dt. So whenever I have even, this is even, so I can do like this and this thing becomes dt always. So this is the best thing that can happen when I have even and the integration becomes very easy. Okay, now we'll move further. And if my I have 10 to power even, again no problem because I can convert 10 into sec. So 10 square I can convert into sec and this whole thing becomes sec to power even. So everything is in sec to power even and I know the integration for sec to power even is very easy. I have to put 10 of x t and sec square x is becomes t. So here I had sec to power even which was very easy and 10 to power even is also very easy because this 10 to power even can be converted into sec to power even. See everything is converted into sec to power even and for this I have to put only 10 of x is equal t so that the sec square x dx becomes dt. Okay. Now let's move further and I have 10 to power odd but this is also not difficult. There is a very special technique for this for 10 to power odd is that since this is odd so what I need if I have another odd I can very easily calculate see what I am doing here I multiply and divide by sec of x so if I put this sec of x is equal to t then sec x tan is becomes dt so I can take one sec x tan is out this is the very good thing that can happen I can take one sec x tan is out so if I put this is equal to t and this whole thing becomes dt Okay, so if I put sec of t, sec x tan x becomes dt and my integration becomes very easy. It is a polynomial and divided by t, so everywhere I have function of t and the integration will be very easy. Okay, so let me re re repeat. When I had sec to power even, so I had no problem because 10x t sec square x dt is not a problem. When I have 10 to power even, I can convert 10 to power even into sec to power even. When I have 10 to power odd, then I do like this, divide and multiply by sec x and this thing come out, this becomes t and this becomes dt. So try to memorize these things, we have three things, one, two and three, all the three were very easy. Now the tough part is sec to power odd and here there is no special direct method for this. Whenever I have sec to power odd, I have to split into two and use integration by parts. So let's see, uh, start with sec to power 3, 3 is my odd, I will split into two parts, sec x and sec square x, because I know the integration of this, I put this as 2, this sec square x is my 2, because I know the integration of sec square x, okay, so integration for this is first, so I have first into integration of second, then I have minus of integration of differentiation of first, 
and integration of second. This is the method. And I know that the integration of sec square is what? Integration of sec square x is 10 of x. And differentiation of sec of x is what? Sec x 10 x. So things become very simplified. So I have this sec x 10 x minus sec x 10 x times 10 x. Then what I will do? I move further and multiply. And I have here 10 square x and sec of x. Okay. Now what to do now? This thing is complete. But this is left. So what should I do? Anybody? Anybody remember that what I have done when I have 10x and sec x as a multiplication? Yes, student B. So, whenever we had multiplication of sec x and 10x, uh, we hide the 10x and look at the power of sec. If sec was even, there is no problem. If sec is odd and 10 is also odd, then no problem. But if sec is odd and 10 is even, then there was a problem. And this was in this category. Yes, exactly. So you remember this. This is a good thing that it could happen. So I'll show you. Uh, what we do here. First of the first step will be hide the 10 part. And look at the sec. If the sec were even, then it was the best thing could have, that could happen. But here it is sec is odd. Then you have to look at 10. If 10 were also odd, then also no problem. But unfortunately, the 10 is even. So this falls in the category of tough. And what I have to do here, I have to convert everything into sec. So I will convert everything to sec. So I have this sec cube x. This thing sec square x into sec x becomes sec cube x. And then I have sec of x. OK, no, not one thing. What was my i? I started with integration of sec cube x. So again, I had sec cube x here. So this thing also becomes my i. So this thing also becomes my i. So the integration of this becomes, I put this thing as i, this whole thing as i. And integration of sec of x, I know that is log of sec x plus 10x. OK, so if I, I can take this i to my left hand side, so I have here 2i is equal to sec x 10x plus log of sec x 10x plus c. So I get the value of i is equal to this. OK, if you want to remember the integration of sec cube x, the best thing that you can do is you think consider this as uh, average of this thing, sec x 10x and log of sec x plus 10x. Now, what is sec x 10x? I know that sec x 10x is my differentiation of sec x. And what is my log of sec x plus 10x? It is my integration of sec x. So I can say that what is my integration of sec cube x? I will be average of differentiation of sec x and integration of sec x. This is how you can remember the integration of sec cube x is actually average of differentiation of sec x and integration of sec x. So this was an easy thing to let you can remember. Okay. Now there is an exercise for you to find integration of sec to power 5x. So can anybody start? So I give you time and uh, do the integration sec to power 5x and tell me that what is the method for this. Your student E. Sir, I have solved this because it is integration of sec to power 5x, so it is power of odd. Yeah, show me. So I had done it like this. I split into two parts and the second part I took sec square x and then I took sec square x as 2 and then do integration by parts. So first into integration of second minus integration of differentiation of first and integration of second. So finally at last I get sec cube x 10x minus 3 10 square x sec cube x. Now after that I don't know what to do. After that is easy. I have told you that I have here you getting 10 to power 2x and sec to power 3x. So what should you do? Okay, anybody else? Yes, student J. Sir, after that, I have done here. Okay, show me. Sir, here I had 10 to power 2x sec cube x. So you told me that hide the 10 part and see the power of sec. If sec is odd and 10 is even, then you had problem. Then you convert everything into sec. So I converted everything into sec. And I got here sec to power 5x and sec cube x. So the things get simplified. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I'll show you. What we do, we divide into two parts, sec cube x and sec square x. 
then I use in integration by parts. So first, this is my first into integration of second minus integration of differentiation of first. What is my differentiation of sec cube x? Differentiation of cube x will be three sec square x, and sec x it becomes sec x square x. Then integration of second. I know that integration of sec square x is what tan of x, and here it is tan of x. So it gets simplified, and I get here. Sec cube x tan x minus three sec cube x tan x, so it gets further simplified, and I have here three tan square x and sec cube x. So I have in multiplication tan x and sec x, and the step for this is to that first you hide the tan square x part and look only at the sec cube x part. Then if see the power, if it was even, then it was the best thing that could happen. But this is odd, so I have to look at the power of tan. If 10 were also even, if 10 were also odd, then again it was the best thing. It was the easiest thing that could have happened. But here the power is not odd. It is even. So I have one even, another odd. So I am I am left with the method to convert everything in the sec x. So I convert everything in the sec and see what I got here. See, I was doing addition of sec to power five. So my i is sec to power five, and again I got here sec to power five. So this thing also becomes my i. So i get here i, and this integration of sec cube x. So in the previous one, I've shown you that what is integration of sec cube x. Integration of sec cube x was average of differentiation of sec x and integration of sec x. So I know the integration of sec cube x. If I don't remember, then I have to again do the integration by parts here. Okay. So this thing what what will happen here? Uh, I put this thing as as it is. And then I put this thing as i, so I get here three i, and I know the integration of sec cube x. I put this as s, so this is my s here. So this becomes four i is equal to sec cube x tan x plus three x, and then I get the value of i. So here we have seen that when you have ten to power x and sec to power something x, then we have different methods depending on even and odd. And when we have only ten or sec, then again the things were easy if we have the power was even. And for ten to power odd, only thing that was difficult was for sec to power odd. And for this particular case, sec to power odd, I have to do integration by parts, where I take sec square x out. Okay. With this, we end this particular session. Thank you, and hope you have all understand. Hope I hope you all understood. Yes, sir. Okay. Then we continue further with our next session. Thank you.